Hello, everyone. My name is Peng Shang Zhu. Today, I will present our work on distributed virtual inertial corporate localization. Multi robot systems that have the ability of communication and perception can collaborate to accomplish missions more efficiently and robustly. Cooperative localization is a technique that uh, leverages additional geometric constraints in multi robot systems to improve the localization accuracy. Camera and inertial sensors are cheap and lightweight, but they can provide rich information that enables highly accurate motion estimation. When we design algorithms for multi robot system, we prefer the distributed ones as they are scalable and efficient and robust. So in this paper, we use virtual inertial sensors to achieve a distributed CL algorithm. Uh, we compared our proposed algorithm to some closest work. The first one is disk VIO. It's our previous work. It's also a distributed uh, correlative localization algorithm, but it only uses the current common features, which means it requires the robots observing same the, the common features uh, uh, simultaneously. The second one is the centralized scan algorithms. There exists a server or center in this algorithm that generally estimates all the robot state and uh, the dense covariance. It creates the joint map for the whole group. So it, it requires the robots to communicate with the center during each update and propagation, and the uh, movements will be processed synchronously. This will give us the like the best accuracy, but its lack of efficiency is not suitable for the large robot group. So in this paper, we improved our previous work by considering the historical matchings. By doing this, we improve the accuracy while we inherit the distributed setting of disk VIO. So in this paper, we proposed an efficient distributed state estimate for multi-robot cooperative localization. And this algorithm doesn't require simultaneous viewing of the common features. We leverage a covariance intersection to achieve the distributed stating, and we further investigate the ways to efficiently process the common SAM and the common VR features. We use the loop closing across time and robots to reduce the localization drift. When multi-robots are exploring the environment, if they have the ability of communication, they can exchange the information. And in this paper, we build a sliding window of uh, a sliding window estimator. For each robot, we de define the different kinds of features. The first is an independent feature. These are the features that can only be seen from one robot. The second one is the current common features. These are the features that can be seen by more than one robot at the current sliding window. And the third one is the historical common features. As shown in this figure, these two green features can currently be seen by robot one, but it cannot be seen by the other two robots at the current sign window. But these two features uh, was observed by robot two at a previous time at an old state. So this is a, a historical common feature we leverage to find the long-term navigation drift. So the goal here is to use this uh, uh, common feature constraints to improve the performance. Uh, before we talk about the algorithms, we introduced the uh, uh, state vector for each robot. We estimate the IMU uh, state and uh, the and also the Canberra state that includes the time of state uh, extrinsic and extrinsic uh, between camera and uh, IMUs. We also estimate a sign window of uh, IMU poses and a window of stem features. These features are the ones that can be tracked for a long time. We include uh, its state its position in the state. But if uh, this, this feature loses the track, we will marginalize it from the state to gain efficiency. So you can see for a single robot, uh, the state is larger. So if you use a centralized algorithm, your state vector will be very large. And also you will have a very large and a dense covariance matrix. So here we prefer the distributed algorithms. In this algorithm, we only estimate, each robot only estimate its own state. So the communication is, is limited to robots that have common features. Uh, we achieve the distributed setting by deploying the, the cross-coherence between robots.
And uh, for the common feature, it's a uh, the, the moment is a function of the two robust state and the features uh, position. After linearization, we can this system we will use this to improve the, the uh, accuracy. As I said, we ignored the cross covariance, uh, but how to handle the unknown cross covariance? Here we use the covariance intersection. As shown in this figure, these are the covariance ellipse. Uh, you have the covariance for rob the i and uh, rob the j, and the green dot represents the unknown joint covariance uh, of rob the i and rob the j. So, you can see C, CI algorithms provide a covariance that can will bound this unknown covariance. So in other words, we can guarantee our estimate is consistent by using CI. So the advantage here is that the first it guarantees the consistent and then it enables a computational efficient distributed propagation and uh, updates. Because of this, uh, we can update the system asynchronously. Uh, we introduced uh, the CIEKF updates. So each robot will update its own state and combine the using these two equations. Next, uh, we discuss uh, the way we, how we update different kinds of common features. The first is the VIO features. These, these features are the ones that can be tracked uh, only for a short time. So we do not want to estimate uh, the features uh, position. We achieve this by using MSCKF projection. But how to apply this to the multi robots case? Here we give an example, consider robot I and robot J observing the same feature PF. And we can we have a combined system in a naive way. We can do long space projection on the Jacobians of the feature and then to get a system that are independent of the feature. But the problem is that the resulting system is still very large, it is costly. So we figure out the efficient way by first form QR decomposition on two robots separately. After that, you will have four systems. For each robot, you will have a system one that is a function of the feature and a system that is only a function of the robot, its own state. Uh, recall that we only use this, uh, like this convection moment to update the robot I, uh, my own state. So we can drop the subsystem that is a function of robot J here. So uh, we will have two resulting system for the um, upper one. It is still a function of the features position. We can form non space projection again, and the resulting system will be used in CIEKF to update the robot I. And for the bottom system, since it's only a function of robot I state, we can use the standard EKF update. And next, we talk about the common name feature. Each robot's common name feature can match the two a long same feature or a same feature in another robot. For case one, uh, we use robot J's uh, uh, process to update the robot I. For case two, we have two options. The first, uh, the first option, we can do something similar to the case one, use robot J's process to update the robot I. Uh, another option is that, as shown in this figure, each robot has an estimate of the feature. These two estimated uh, uh, positions are supposed to be the same. So we can enforce uh, the same feature constraint. But you need this equation, know that this is only a three by one vector. So it's much, much more efficient than the case uh, we use robot uh, JS process to do update. We first evaluate our algorithms using Monte Carlo simulations. Our estimator was built on top of uh, OpenMINS. It's an open source project. If you are interested, uh, I highly uh, recommend you to uh, check this project. We simulated two different kinds of uh, uh, multi robot scenarios. Uh, here we show the results for uh, the simulated ETH MFV datasets. In this table, First, we give the results for the independent uh, case. INDP represents the independent algorithm that use only VIO feature and the independent stem. Uh, you include the same feature. So you can this same feature that improves the accuracy. 
and then we get the results for centralized cooperative algorithms that uh, uh, use uh, uh, current uh, common features. The first one use only the current uh, common VR feature, and the second one uh, use also the current uh, uh, common stand feature. Uh, the cooperative algorithm does improve the accuracy, especially when we consider the common stand feature accuracy is further improved. Uh, next, uh, we give the results for the three uh, variants of uh, distributed algorithms. The first one consider only the common uh, VIO feature, and the second one consider the common VIO and the common uh, slam feature. And then the last one uh, consider the uh, both the current uh, uh, common feature and the historical common feature. Uh, three variants uh, does improve the accuracy when we compare it to the independent algorithms and the historical ones uh, can even outperform the centralized algorithm. We further evaluate our algorithms on some data states. Uh, each of them has a database uh, uh, that, uh, uh, that is used for place recalculation. And each, uh, each current image is queried against this database to find the common feature between robots for this data set. Uh, if we consider the historical matches, uh, the percentage where we can find the common features is uh, uh, increased uh, from like 27 percentage to 42 uh, percentage. Uh, in this table, we show the RPE results for different algorithms. The centralized algorithms uh, does improve the accuracy uh, a lot for different uh, like uh, segment uh, segment 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 uh, the for the three um, distributed algorithms, it also improves the uh, accuracy, and uh, we can see the historical case uh, is the best one. We further evaluated uh, the algorithms on our handhold uh, vacuum room dataset. There are three people working around the large room. Each trajectory is about uh, uh, five hundred meters long. Here we can build two kinds of algorithms. The first uh, independent SM algorithm and the second one is uh, uh, DC4 historical uh, algorithms. Uh, uh, different color represent different trajectories uh, of, of people. And uh, the dark one is a ground choose from uh, uh, vacuum system. And the light one is the estimated values. The red point here are the same features while all the other points are the uh, VIO features. Uh, as show, uh, as shown in the middle, it's the top-down view, uh, and the bottom one are the uh, trajectories in the z direction. We can see uh, by using common features, uh, we does have a huge gain in accuracy, and uh, also we bound the drift in the z direction. So in this paper, we propose a fully distributed uh, uh, estimate for accuracy and efficient. Uh, and uh, drift free multi robot uh, C uh, CL, and uh, we further propose the efficient uh, common feature updates. Uh, the algorithms for the loop closing across time and the robots to reduce the long term navigation drift. And uh, we perform the extensive monotonic simulations and the real world evaluations. Uh, thanks. If you have uh, uh, questions, feel free to connect me or Patrick.